Andrea Petrucci from Geeks Life. Today I have an exclusive video for you right here on Digital Trends. Are you using all that Google Maps has to offer? It's time you did. Here are 10 tips for getting more out of Google Maps. Number one, the first thing you should do is make sure your home and work locations are saved into Google Maps. Tap on the three lines in the top left corner, choose your places, add the addresses of your home and work. This will make it a lot easier whenever you're out and about to get home quickly because you can tell Google to navigate home instead of always having to type in your own address. Number two, save your favorite location so you can navigate quickly. A family member's address, for example, your favorite burger joint. Find the location, click on the location information and choose save. Find them all in your places. Number three, find your friends easier. Tap on the search bar. If you haven't done this before, you're gonna see this message. Easily find your friend's address and a prompt to add contacts. You'll need to give Google access to your contacts, then you'll be able to search a person's name. As long as their address is listed in the contacts, you can navigate to their place a lot easier. Number four, speaking of your friends, why don't you share your location with them? Let's say you're meeting up, but the location is pretty crowded. You can press for a second on your location and drop a pin there, then click the location and choose share. Text it to them or hey, tweet it out to the public and invite everybody. <laughs> Number five, not sure what you wanna eat for lunch? That's okay. Tap search, then choose explore nearby. You'll get a great list of places near you. You can look at it in list mode or map mode. I love that you can easily see what the ratings are so your choices are made even easier. Number six, if you want to plan ahead a bit, maybe you're sitting in your office, a little bored and wanting to go out tonight. In that same explore area, choose the drop down box to change your current time of day to evening. You'll then see a lot of choices for food, but if you keep scrolling down, you'll come to the play and see section. Find music, museums, movie theaters, and more. Number seven, maybe you need to get somewhere and you don't have a car, or you just don't wanna take your car. That's cool. You can easily find public transportation or even Uber. Navigate to a place as you would if you were going to drive, then choose the train symbol for public transportation or the car with the thing of a jig on top. It looks like a taxi, I guess. That's where you're gonna find Uber and other car services around the world. Number eight, make a pit stop. Unfortunately, they don't allow you to map out navigation to 15 different places at once, but you can make a single pit stop. Maybe you're driving home from work and your spouse calls asking for you to pick up some bacon on the way home. Well, when you're in navigation mode, you'll see a search button. You can choose from the popular options like gas station, restaurant, grocery stores, or coffee shops, or you can search for a more specific place if you want. Once you choose, you're gonna see a list of places along your route, along with how much additional time it'll take you. Choose one and it'll recalculate the navigation. Recalculating. <laughs> Number nine, of course, you know that you can always pinch to zoom in and out of maps, but if you use Google Maps one-handed, you can still zoom. A single tap will allow you to move the map slightly, but if you tap twice and hold, you're gonna be able to zoom in and out as much as your heart desires. Have fun. And number 10, go offline. If you're traveling somewhere and you don't want to be dependent on the internet connection, you can save a map offline by searching for a place, click on the name, choose download, find your offline areas by tapping the three lines and choose offline areas. So what's your favorite Google Maps feature? Leave a comment below and use the links above to share this video on your favorite social media site. I'm Laria Petrucci, you can find more of me at geekslife.com or of course right here on Digital Trends. Bye-bye.